Hello everybody, this is Jacob Alanzadegui, Senior Vice President with MetaPure Products. I want to take just a few moments to discuss fat and organ damage today. So, as you probably are, are aware, as we get older, sometimes there can be changes that occur in the body, and uh, unfortunately one of those changes that often occurs has to do with gaining weight. Of course, there's various factors to that taking place, such as um, lack of a good diet, lack of activity, uh, over, being overstressed, as well as different emotional and mental factors that can all lead to, to weight gain. So I want to discuss today a little bit uh, different locations of fat and how it affects our health. So uh, first I want to discuss and outline what visceral fat is. Uh, the viscerals refer to the organs and visceral fat is the fat that is surrounding the organs. Uh, play an important role uh, just like other fat does in our body and is found obviously within the abdominal cavity. We then have subcutaneous fat, which is the fat that lies outside of the muscles. So you can think, for example, the abdominal area, uh, fat that might be, for example, between the skin and the muscle itself. Now, there are some typical assumptions when it comes to fat. And um, here we, you'll see two different images. And, you know, when we think of a person that's overweight or obese, we think of, you know, the paunch, for example, uh, that's occurring over here or the, the love handles or maybe side fat that, that's kind of hanging out. And we typically attribute that to there being an, an over access of subcutaneous fat, you know, or the fat that lies over the, over the muscle area. And, and while for sure that's, uh, there can be a, quite an accumulation of fat there, uh, that isn't really the, the, the true culprit. So then the question is, wh who is the real culprit? And the answer is actually it's excess visceral fat. So here we can see an image uh, where we have the subcutaneous fat. As I mentioned, it uh, lies outside of the abdominal cavity, so beyond the muscle tissue here in the front and then behind the spine here. And then we have visceral fat right here all uh, in the middle surrounding the organs. Now this, of course, is an image of somebody that uh, uh, appears to be o o obese um, or overweight. And over a period of time, this excess visceral fat can just begin to grow and grow and grow and really cause a lot of strain and stress on the organs. And we'll get into that in just a moment here. But just a couple of, of, of interesting things to note is that the abdominal area actually accounts uh, on average for about 1.5 inches. No, it can be as, as high as 2.5 inches of fat. But when you really think about um, that fat layer, it, it pales in comparison really when we're looking at proportionally the fat that accumulates here in the middle of the body among the viscerals uh, or organs. Another interesting thing to note is that excess carbs become visceral fat. So first and foremost, carbohydrates are good, but consuming them in excess, if uh, we're not active, leads them to be converted into stored fat. And that fat happens to be stored right here in the viscerals. So then the, the question is, so what? What's the danger? You know, there's been uh, a lot of information already shared uh, out there in the public regarding access fat and cardiovascular disease such as stroke and, and heart attack. Well, I, I want to discuss a little bit uh, of a topic that most people don't know about and the damage caused because of the access of the visceral fat um, that occurs. So one of those being type 2 diabetes. Now, uh, it's, it's not a secret. A lot of people know that there's a, a direct uh, association with being overweight and developing type 2 diabetes. Well, as, as many of you probably are aware, you know, diabetes um, occur, or type 2 diabetes occurs because there's a, a, a faulty um, regulation of insulin. Now, the pancreas itself is the organ that is responsible for regulating insulin in the body. And there's a lot of studies being done, particularly in Europe, that's showing that when there is an excess of fat surrounding the, the pancreas, it actually... Um, keeps the pancreas or inhibits it from regulating insulin as it should. And so uh, further studies being done out in Europe, once again, have shown that when they've been able to successfully remove excess pancreatic or visceral fat, so the, the fat surrounding the pancreas, type 2 diabetes has been reversed altogether. So it's, it's quite an incredible finding, and that we, I believe it speaks uh, you know, volumes in regards to the type of damage caused by excess visceral fat. In addition, you can also damage the additional organs. Now, if you can imagine, here we have the organs inside the abdominal cavity, 
and there's obviously a, a finite or a limited amount of space. Well, what happens is if the fat keeps accumulating, the organs begin to feel pressure. So you can imagine just the pressure being pushed on as if, for example, if you were to hold a balloon in your hands and begin to slowly put pressure on it, eventually that balloon is, is going to burst. Now, that's not to say that your organs are going to explode, but the fact of the matter remains, it causes the organs to get damaged. The cells damage, there's inflammatory issues, chronic issues can, can occur, and, and even cancer can be developed because uh, of the excess visceral fat there on the organs. Um, obviously, that also leads to organ failure, so the kidneys and the liver can fail because you think about it, you're consistently applying pressure there. The body is constantly trying to regenerate or revive those cells in that organ, um, but if there's always pressure taking place there after a while, it's just too much stress and the organ itself can, uh, can stop functioning as it should. So then, well, what can be done to help? Some steps to help here include losing fat fast. Uh, this is especially true and especially important Important if you're a person that is a bit overweight uh, or obese. Now, there's a common misconception that you, you can't lose weight fast, you know, that that is unhealthy for you. Well, that's true to an extent. It's true if you do it the wrong way. If you're doing a fad type of diets where you're just avoiding carbohydrates altogether or starving yourself or avoiding proteins altogether, that's very, very, very bad for you. And in fact, oftentimes it has the adverse effect because then once you start eating carbohydrates or proteins, which by the way have a very important function, um, but if you avoid that or, fat or starve yourself of those uh, important elements and then eat them again, oftentimes you're going to end up gaining the weight right back and the effects are just not going to be good. There are products and solutions out there that do help to target the excess visceral fat and burn it without actually damaging muscle tissue. So make sure you do your research, do some homework, but that definitely should be on your radar because uh, there might be some serious chronic issues not too far away if you've been uh, having some, some weight issues for some time. So, Also, nutrition is key. You know, Avoid the, the processed sugars. Make sure you eat good foods, whole grains, uh, good, good carbohydrates, um, you know, fruits and vegetables. Uh, make sure you eat as healthy as possible. Avoid drugs. Now, obviously, if you're taking pharmaceutical drugs uh, in order to be able to monitor and run your day-to-day -day activities, that's understandable. But if you can avoid pharmaceutical drugs, do it, uh, especially the ones that have to do with controlling cholesterol or, or mitigating or controlling blood pressure. At the end of the day, those solutions are just a Band-Aid and not getting at the, at the root of the issue and oftentimes have adverse effects such as organ damage anyway. Okay. Learn to manage your stress. Uh, there's been a ton of studies uh, that associate stress with weight gain. Get active. That doesn't mean run a marathon tomorrow, but it does mean we can start walking you know, five to ten minutes or, or go to the mall and, and window shop. But uh, basically get a little active so that you can uh, burn some extra calories and, and, and burn some fat. So to recap here, some important points to remember is that excess visceral fat is a culprit. And, and the reason why is because it can help lead to type 2 diabetes and then damage the organs. So there's a lot of uh, secondary effects that occur because of having excess visceral fat in the body. Some tips to help include losing fat quickly, but make sure you do it the right way. Nutrition is key. If possible, avoid drugs. Learn to manage your stress wisely. And then lastly, become more active. So thanks for your time uh, today. If you have any questions at all uh, regarding uh, what was mentioned, please feel free to email me directly at jacob at metapureproducts.com. Thank you.